me is the U.S. Ambassador to Guyana, Sarah Lynch. How are you doing tonight? I am doing very well. It's a very exciting night out here. You know, opening of the Building Expo, first time in many, many years. So it's a great night so far. All right. So what we want to do, we want to talk a little bit about the 3D printer. What do you think about it? I think it's amazing. And I think it's really going to make a big difference for affordable housing here in Guyana. They can you know, make these houses in record time uh, as, as quickly as in 30 hours. They can have a one-story house built. And it's just really amazing for all those folks out there that are waiting for affordable housing. For a, long, for a number of years, we didn't have a building expo. And you know, the government, the Ministry of Housing have really outdone themselves. Here, what do you think about the stadium transforming here tonight when you walk in? It's just amazing. I mean, I, I just have never seen it like this before with all the booths, um, the variety of businesses represented here. The fact that it's open to the public is really great so the public can get an idea of what uh, the government and the private sector are doing. Um, so I think it's a really exciting night and it's going to be a very exciting weekend. And I'm just so happy to be here with Black Buffalo <laughs> with this amazing innovative machine I know, that's right? really just going to be transformative. You know, it can it can do its work quickly. Um, it is high quality and it's not expensive and very sustainable. So I think those are the points that are really important for this piece of equipment. And lastly, before we go, for persons who are not down here yet witnessing this business expo, well, you know, this building expo, what would you say to them? I'd say they better get here. They should get here soon and see all that uh, is in front of them here at the building expo. It's on for two more days, as I understand it, through the whole weekend, a very low cost to the public, a couple of hundred Guyanese dollars. And uh, there's so much to see here. And I think they're having some fun too. Some nice fireworks tonight. Thank you so much. Have a Thank good you, night. Samantha. Have a good evening. still here at the Guyana National Stadium where the International Building Expo is uh, going on right now. With me is Michael who is the CEO of Black Buffalo 3D. Uh, how are you doing tonight? Very well, thank you. It was a pleasure to meet the, His Excellency this evening and the Ambassador from the U.S. It was such a joy. All right, for persons out there who doesn't know what Black Buffalo or who they are. Can you tell our viewers a little bit about mm -hmm. who you guys are? Sure, we're a US-based technology uh, company. We focus on the mechanical engineering to build this great big 3D robot behind us. As well, we're material scientists. We make the material that it actually outputs. All right, now I know that they did a river cutting, but you guys would have started building a house uh, sometime after four this afternoon. Tell us a little bit about that. Sure, we started our print uh, right at around 4 p.m. Uh, we're already about two and a half feet high and we did that in less than four hours. Is it a one bedroom you guys are building? Is it two bedroom? What, a, what are you building? Yeah, it's a demo house. It's two bedroom, about 400 square feet. And to be finished, it's about $40 per square foot from the builder, um, which would be less than $100,000. All right, and, and it can build more than one, um, like it could build three, build three bedroom, four bedroom. Can it build two story, three story, five story? There's no limitation to the design because it's a 3D printer. So you put the design into the program and based on where you want windows and doors and height and width, it can be customized to anything. Yes, there is no limitation. The only limitation is the speed of which you angle the wall because it has to cure or set on the way up, dry on the way up. That's the only limitation. And I see you guys are using uh, cement as well too, right? Yes. We are using cement and actually the material we have is three times stronger than the, the blocks, the concrete blocks that you use here uh, for almost all of your homes and structures. We're three times as strong. We get this done in roughly a thousand square foot home. We can print all the walls nine feet high for the whole frame in roughly 22 hours. Wow, that's amazing. Now I know persons, I'm glad that you mentioned that because persons who would have, uh, you know, viewing it, their response are how durable 
it is and you know we as Guyanese especially sometimes it's hard when we're accustomed to one thing we don't really like to change and then they're wondering um, I'm accustomed to this block uh, in building um, our home so how durable it is yeah so your block walls each block uh, is separated by a mortar right to stick them together here you're building one singular wall that cures from bottom to top that's why it's three times as strong as a block wall. Then the way that you build the wall is going to be identical, right? So when you tie in a roof, when you want to stucco the outside or the inside or use, you, you know, any kind of drywall on the inside, it's no different. It's a concrete wall, concrete home, just like doing a block, except it's much faster. It's 40% cheaper. It's three times as strong and we almost eliminate all waste on the job site. Almost every job site, when you're building a home or a factory or whatever it is, 30% of all materials that you buy are wasted, are thrown in the trash, right? We eliminate almost 100% of that. Let's talk about colors now. Oh, sure, I mean, it's a pigment, right? It's a, all of our concrete comes in a powder form. We mix that powder into a concrete right here on site. So if we want it to be pink or purple or yellow or red, doesn't matter. We can put that in, we can create that red powder and then create it with water. All right, and tell us a little bit before we go on the electrical, because I see that the house would have started building here. There are a, a space in the middle for, I think yes. it was electrical. Exactly, so we build a two inch inside wall, two inch outside, those are load bearing. And then the inside wall is a, or in between the two walls, a hollow core. So if you want to bring your electric up into that, you want to bring your plumbing, you save space by not adding another wall on the inside or the outside. So your house actually feels bigger when it's done. And lastly, persons are eager to know cost. What's the cost to build a, a two bedroom house? So fully finished. Um, here uh, in uh, Guyana is going to be about $40 per square foot. So if you've got a two bedroom house and it's a thousand square feet, right, which is kind of large, right, you're going to be about, you know, 40 per square foot, you're for 40,000 or 40, $400,000, right? For something this size where it's about 400 square feet, two bedroom, single bath, that's going to be about $80,000 only for a two bedroom, one bath, or 400 square feet at $40 a square foot, $80,000. 80,000 US? Yes. Okay, anything else you care to share with our viewers before we go? Um, we're so happy to be here. We're very excited about our partnership uh, that's here. We're very excited about your initiatives that you're doing in terms of housing. And all we wanna do is try to give back to create some really nice homes, bring some great technology that no one else has in the region except for you. All right, thank you so much. Thank you. Well, viewers, there you heard it from Michael, the CEO of Buffalo, telling you all about the 3D printer. You have to come down to the stadium and, you know, view this massive house that they are building. I can tell you it looks really durable.